from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Well, good morning. I'm James Tully. Greg D has a look at your weather as we continue. It's been a really stellar week out there. But first here, are your ABC Action News headlines. The governor's talking about who he expects to be next in line for the COVID-19 vaccine. We're also going to be able to offer uh, for law enforcement, fire, classroom teachers uh, with those federally supported sites coming online. This would be for people over age 50 in those professions. It's unclear when, but it'll happen at the state's four federally supported vaccination sites. That includes the former Tampa Greyhound track, which should open as a site sometime next week. The public is accepting vaccine appointments again today. The grocery chain had to stop new appointments last week after that winter weather hit much of the United States and reduced supply. The store spokesperson says public has received additional doses and the Reservation system is opening at 7 a.m. Wednesday and Friday. However, looks like some counties won't have any doses available just yet. New York's attorney general announced there will be no charges filed against the seven police officers arrested in the death of Daniel Prude last March. Now, Prude, a black man, was in the midst of a mental health episode when his brother called Rochester police for help. Body camera footage shows when officers found him in the street, they put a spit hood over his head and later pinned him to the ground before he eventually stopped breathing. A judge says the grand jury will be released. The grand jury data will be released to the public in the coming days. In the sports world, Tiger Woods had a lengthy surgery yesterday after a car crash in L.A. The golfer was awake and responsive after the surgery. It's not yet clear what caused a single car crash early yesterday morning. It was on a winding road that is a known trouble spot. Woods has extensive damage to his legs. St. Pete Beach has been named the number one beach in the country. TripAdvisor released its annual Traveler's Choice Awards. Madeira Beach came in ninth, Clearwater 18th. The first time Madeira has ever made the list. Clearwater took quite a dive from last year when it was ranked fifth. St. Pete and Madeira were the only Florida destinations in this year's top 10. But really, Greg, take your pick. They're all beautiful. Uh, they're all beautiful, and they're always making this list, making our area one of the best to visit. If you're looking for a beach uh, in the United States, and it looks like by that list, in the world as well. Temperatures in the upper 70s this afternoon. How about heading out to the beaches today? There is going to be an onshore flow, so that temperature is for downtown Tampa. When you head to St. Pete Beach or Clearwater, Madeira, over towards Indian Rocks, temperatures there will be about 4 to 5 degrees cooler in the low to mid 70s, but I'm not expecting any clouds out there with water temperatures in the 60s. Beach weather by the weekend, it's on the way. Check out your seven-day forecast in our app right now.